It's time for Roses and Rosé with Ashley. A round of applause in the studio from our um, massive you crew. You have a good voice. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you could be on Broadway. Please come back for everyone. <laughs> yes. You guys, we are here with the amazing oh, Ashley Iaconetti. Stop. Thank you. I couldn't be more joyful. <laughs> to watch a season eight, episode three, you have come for a treat. Yeah, I'm so excited. I need to do this. I oh. need to brush up on the entire season. You watch this season, but you don't remember it perfectly. Oh, perfectly, of perfectly. course. But it is probably my favorite Bachelorette season besides Caitlyn. A Bachelorette I've never met before. Love Emily. I feel like she sent dudes home when she was like, this is not real for me. Yes. I have a daughter. I don't have time for you. Yes. Cheers. Yes. Yeah. This is like the episode where Ari is actually in the season. He okay. gets a one-on-one -on -one date, okay. you guys. This is a good day to be here. Very quickly, let me ask you for your attraction level to Ari. I mean, mild, but sure. Ari's obviously good looking, but mm. you don't know just how sexy they are or how much they can like really grab a girl's attention until oh. they're in person. Oh. And I think Ari has that swag where he'll make you nervous. Please name names. Oh, I think Nick is like that. Like, Nick is obviously hot, but like a lot more alluring in real life. Interesting. I think. I, I, what do you think? I think maybe you and I have different taste in men. And so if we went out together, we'd be good. We'd be good wing women because we would not have the same taste in guys. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay Peter. Okay. Uh, Peter is very tall in person and he dresses very well. Yeah. So that I'm like, but he also photographs. Everything's perfect. Well, no, Peter. I'm not. Peter's not in that. Yeah. You know, no. He just, just is. Everything. He's just good all around. Okay. Just hot right. in person and hot on TV. What she does is she has the guys meet her friends and her friends kind of quiz them. So oh, here's the guys meeting her gals. This feels like it was just yesterday. It was actually over five years ago. What? So much has changed. Where were you when you were watching this episode? I was in college. I was actually in grad school. Yeah, it's in yes, Syracuse. Queen. Yes. I don't know. yes. Cheers to your master's degree. <laughs> Thank we you. both have them. You're welcome. Sean Lowe goes to talk to the friends and they ask him this blonde. You want to take your shirt off first? And then he does. Takes it off. <laughs> Push up for us. How do you feel about a guy with no hair on his body? Oh my gosh, that was a topic on my podcast with Ben this week. Oh. Ben Higgins has chest hair. Yes. And, and he likes it when a girl appreciates it. Mm. And I agree. I don't want it totally clean. I agree. I mean, I'm not going to judge. Like, if you can't grow hair, that's Yeah, right. Okay. If it's naturally bare, yeah. that's totally fine. But I don't need somebody who's, like, waxing. And, like, I, I like a little manliness, a little scruff. You know, yeah. I like scruff on the face, too. Me, too. Yeah. I think every guy looks better with, like, a three-day scruff. Cheers yeah, to cheers, cheers to them. We are like so on the same page always. Mm -hmm. Done Got keeping it, it together. Okay. <laughs> Is that okay with you? I think, well, no, it's not. Hey! Uh, hey! Oh, wow. Not Wait, I didn't catch that. that. He's, she says, what if I gain weight? Is that okay? And he said, no, it's not. Why? In all the shows that you've been on, what is the moment, and even the ones you've watched, where you were like, that person said too much too soon? Probably myself. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the honesty and the self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Well, you told me last time we talked that you're picky. Selective. Okay. Selective. I like that expression. I'm going to say mm -hmm. that from now on. I'm not That's picky. I'm selective. <laughs> Are you dating anyone now? No. Because you haven't you haven't found one you want to select. Mm. I'm at that place in my life where I want to find what my family has, mm -hmm. what my parents have. He talks so much about his own family. He oh, he's so shiny. <laughs> Is there anyone telling you if you look like on camera? Definitely. They have people with tissue. The producers have tissues, and they're like, go blot. Look at that. Now I like the way Ari handled this roller coaster moment. Oh my God, no. Cause she's saying she's scared first. You hold my hand. He's like, hold that's my hand. Cute. I got you. That's cute. I, I like that. You. That's the best reason to go to an amusement park with a guy. To get him to hold your hand. Yeah. 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 And then maybe you vomit. Just like be cute. And see how he handles that. That's yeah. what I like to do. Yeah. Throw up on someone, <laughs> and see how they react. I threw up on. I threw up next to Jared once. It went very poorly. Was that on camera? Or no. Oh. It was months later. And it went poorly. Like and it was. <laughs> the end of the end. <laughs> Cheers was, to the end of the end. But to be honest, it was really the actual definition of the beginning of the end, part two. I want to get into their dinner date because this is where I started to like Ari. Okay. Because he is so real. So we're going to watch the dinner date very closely. 
Daddy, he's such a great guy, and I had so much fun, I could be myself, but I also want to make sure that we're compatible as far as life and fundamentals. So she wants to make sure they're compatible, but I feel he wants to make sure too. Okay. Cheers to an amazing day. He has really good hair, like he's thick hair. Girl, and I was like super close to them. Um, the little girl at the time was four and the boy was six. And right I would here. take him to school. His last girlfriend, he was very yeah. close to her kids. She had two kids. He dated someone with two kids. Sign for her. They lived together. Um, children came up. Like, I was ready to take that step. Mm -hmm. I was ready. Mm -hmm. Can I forget for about this? Children, you know? They're not eating any food. Well, I never do. You eat beforehand. Mm -hmm. Or if you're me, you do eat on the date. Because I'm like, no, this is BS. I'm this hungry. This is such BS. It's not that like I'm hungry. It's just like I don't have food sitting in front of me without eating it. Having children came up. Like I was ready to take that step. Mm -hmm. I was ready. And she was like, I never want to have children. You know, I think this is I'm good. And then it was like, oh, you remind me too much of my ex-husband because of racing. He's not trying to hide mm -hmm. what he thinks may be a turnoff, right? So, bottom line, she gives him the rose. But this date made me like Ari, and I want to cheers to Ari right now in this okay, moment. Okay, cheers mm -hmm. to Ari, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm This was back in 2012. He's so fucking ready now. <laughs> I know, the only reason I like highbrowed there was because- oh, What's highbrowing? I don't know, I just came up with that, where I'm like, hmm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. <laughs> is, that like his dating track record in the past five years has mm. been I think like flingy uh -huh. or like very young. I'm with you. And if he was wanting that right now, would he want to be with somebody very young? Time. Did he get caught up in like the playerness that is being a bachelor cast off? How prevalent is that Possibly. disease? Possibly. But how much do you see the illness that you just brought up, which is getting caught up in being a Bachelor Nation player? It's 50-50. <laughs> That's called, you did the high brow? That's the high road. High Cheers brow. to the high road. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hit a high okay. note every time I drink. Oh, okay. Do you want to try it with me? Okay, so you kind of do it as you're finishing your drink. Like, mm -hmm. So then they go on a carousel, and I cannot wait to show you this, because Ari, do you know his nickname? Yeah, the kissing bandit. The kissing bandit. Yeah. You say, you're saying that skeptically. Do you no, 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 no. I believe it. I know this. You as know. Team Jeff, J E F, Jeff, 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 as it was, holy moly, did Ari know how to kiss? You could just visually see it. Yeah. Apparently. Okay. So they go on a carousel together, and the first kiss! Look at how he grabs. I mean, it's if you all go about in for his the hand face motion. Grab, I know it's the this. best. Oh, it's the best, and his hands are so big. Oh, and he's so lippy and slow, and I like it. Earlier, you did not remember some of the contestants on the show, but yeah. you remembered the detail. Oh yeah. Movement. Okay, describe. Get, tell me the Ari kiss. Step well, by step. I mean, like he does the hand, hand. thing, which I, every girl loves the Love hand it. thing. Love it. Grab the face. Yeah. Our crew guys are learning. Right he now. goes in really <laughs> slowly. And Going slow. I think he's even smoldering like the eyes. He like kind of teases her. He's like more about mouth, not much tongue. Ta too much tongue too much to me is uh, the cardinal. Sin. Thank you. Oh, I don't get it. It's I don't too get much. It. Why do you people like it? A little bit. A little, little, a little bit. bit. But here's the thing. My younger self would not tell someone you're a terrible kisser. Myself now, my 29-year-old self yeah. would be like, it's too much tongue, man. Okay, chill the fuck out because I don't have time for this. And so I'll I communicate do that. that too. Would you say that to I someone? I probably would do it now, but my 22 year old self did not. Cheers to you. Why have I drank so much more than you? This keeps happening since I have guests. It's a problem. Don't worry, I have rose under the table. <laughs> Emily and Ari, after her kind of trauma with Kayla and the other dude who she sent home, have this really adorable private moment that I want to show. I'm dying to do it with my gut. It's just run away. Drinking their margaritas oh. and having a moment off oh. to the side. These, she's just tough she's decisions, just, or? These are the moments you live for as a contestant. If she's having a confessional moment with you, it's a good thing. Because it's real. Wait, what do you mean? Like, she's confiding in him. Oh, I thought you meant literally confessional, like, No, it's, like, it. sort of like that. Like, they're whisked away to, like, a little secret area. <gasps> Nobody else is watching. But it's not really their one-on-one -on -one time, because they're standing. I love this little moment they have off to the yeah. side. Yeah. I really don't think this is their actual one-on-one -on -one time. I think this is just, like, a little extra time. That's the thing. And it feels intimate and real. Yeah. And she just said, 
he was here for her. How hard is that balance to strike of like talking about other people and you know, listening to the lead talk about other people but still not being a shit talker, you know? I think you have to keep it to a minimum. I think mm -hmm. in some twisted way, it's sort of a good way to bond with the lead, but I think you actually, it has to be like 10%. In your normal life, you would talk about your friends, right? So like these are kind of your friends in the current Oh! State. That is such a revelation for me in this moment. <laughs> These are your common friends. My mind is literally blown. I, I just that. realized that because of it. No, because I mean, as much as I've talked to everyone, and I kind of never made that connection. Yeah, because you don't really have much else to talk about socially. Like, you don't even know what's going on in the world. You haven't seen the news. No. It's not like, what do you think of the recent news? Yeah. You can't can say that. No. I mean, you never see people discussing current affairs on the street. Yeah, no. Just because, the affairs they're currently in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Thank yeah, you. you're like really Thank good you. at this. <laughs> Let's do what we call a shameless plug, which is where you talk about plug. the most important thing in your life, which I feel is currently your podcast. Both podcasts. Um, I have the Ben and Ashley Almost Famous podcast with iHeartRadio. Mm -hmm. And then I have my other podcast, which is the I Don't Get It podcast with my sister and my best friend. Yeah. And um, on the Almost Famous podcast, mm -hmm. it is usually um, based on Bachelor current events, mm -hmm. but we also talk about relationships and love, and um, Ben and I give our best advice, even though I don't know how much of an advice giver I should be on that topic. Um, You've been through the ringer. <laughs> I have been through the ringer. Mm -hmm. Just because it hasn't worked out doesn't mean I haven't experienced mm -hmm. the feelings. Be selective. Be selective. Mm -hmm. You guys, Follow her on social media. Thank you so much for watching Thank you so much episode for three with us. Thank you for being here. Of Let's course, do so one more fun. cheers. And we'll just have one more little drink. Thank cheers. you for being here. Thank you for having me. Mm. So much fun with Lauren all the time. Oh my God. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to follow Ashley on social media and listen to her amazing podcast. Yes. Subscribe to ET on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. We are here every Tuesday with Roses and Rose. And now we just have to say bye. <laughs>